Welcome to my lecture online. Before us, we have a very special type of series. It's called the geometric series, but you may not realize it by just looking at it initially. And even though we haven't looked at all the various types of series that we're going to run into and how to classify them, we'll show you an example of something that's very unique and very special called the geometric series and how to use a special technique to get there. So first, what we're going to do is recognize that every odd term has a 1 in the numerator and every even term has a 2 in the numerator. You can also see that the denominators increase by a factor of 3. 3, 9, 27, 81 and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to break those up into the sum of two series. The first one is going to look like this. You can say well this is equal to we have 1 third plus 1 over 27 plus 1 over 243, plus and so forth. And the second series is going to be plus 2 times. We'll factor out the numerator 2, and we'll get 1 over 9, plus 1 over 81, plus 1 over 729, plus, and so forth. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a 3 here. Hmm. Fact out a 3 or actually we're going to fact out a 3 and multiply everything by 3. So we'll see, we'll see in just a moment what this looks like. So this is going to be 3 times 1 over 9 because when I multiply this out I get 1 third again plus this would be 1 over 81 plus 1 over 729 plus and so forth. So basically I did factor out a 3 and the denominators increased by factor 3 plus 2 times 1 over 9 plus 1 over 81 plus 1 over 729 plus and so forth. Next you see that they look identical now except this is multiplied times 3, this is multiplied times 2. I can add them together so this becomes 5 times 1 over 9 plus 1 over 81 plus 1 over 729 and so forth. And now to show that this is a geometric series, we'll have to play the next trick. So we're going to write this as being equal to 5 times 1 over 9 to the 0 power. Of course, anything to 0 power is 1. This is basically 5. Plus 5 times 1 over 9 to the first power. Plus 5 times 1 over 9 to the second power. Plus 5 times 1 over 9 to the third power plus so forth to infinity and at the end we have to subtract a 5 from that because this term does not appear in this particular summation. So I'll subtract the minus 5 at the very end. But when I write it like this, this looks very much like a to the 0, a sub 0 plus or just call it a, I can just call it a plus a times x to the first power plus a times x to the second power plus a times x to the third power plus and at the very end I subtract the a again because I didn't have an a to begin with. The a is not there. I have 5 times 1 ninth which is my second term. I just didn't have the first term. But if I include this here and subtract it from the end then this is what we call a geometric series of course out to infinity. So this can now be written as the infinite sum of geometric series s sub n is equal to the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a times x to the n minus 1 power. Which is exactly what I have over here because when n equals 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, I have a times x to the 0 power which is the first term and then a to x to the first power which is the second term and so forth which is equal to, when you sum them all up, this is equal to a divided by 1 minus x, provided that x is a number smaller than 1. So x must be less than 1 for this to be correct and for this to be able to work, the geometric series. And of course you can see that x is 1 ninth, which is smaller than 1, so we can go ahead and solve this. Now of course remember that we added an a in the beginning and we subtract an a from the end. So we'll have to, once we sum all this up, we could then say that our sum, so 
In other words, I have to minus a is equal to minus a. I'll have to subtract the a from it because I didn't have the first term. But using that trick, I can at least equate it to the geometric series. In other words, this is equal to 5 divided by 1 minus 1 ninth. And of course, I have to subtract 5 from the end. Now, this is equal to 5 divided by 8 over 9 minus 5, which is equal to 45 over 8 minus 5, which is 45 over 8 minus 40 over 8, which is equal to 5 divided by 8. All right, so now you can see through a very special set of techniques, we're able to take something like this and recognize that it's really a geometric series in the skies. We separated all the terms that had a 1 in the numerator from all the terms that had a 2 in the numerator. Then we realized when we factor out a 3 over here in the first set of numbers, we can make this look exactly the same. We added them together, and then we recognize it as being a geometric series with the first term missing. This term was not there, so we added the first term and subtracted the first term at the end. And so, through several special techniques, we're able to solve these types of series. Now, we'll get all kinds of different examples in the future. We'll look at all the various types of series we're going to run into and find a technique for each type. So, stay tuned, and we'll then take a global look when we run into series in this type of context.